Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Reversing Glass. I'm Matt Rose, Field CISO at Reversing Labs. Today's episode is called WTF is an S-Bomb. S-Bomb, software bill of materials, is one of the hottest topics in the industry these days. Everybody's talking about S-Bombs. It's even going to the highest level of government with the president and the executive order about S-Bombs, self-attestation of what's in your software. But not all S-Bombs are created equal. I'm gonna use a visual here just to help everybody out. So really what I think an S-bomb is a ingredients list, like food products. Who doesn't love Kraft Mac and Cheese? Kraft Mac and Cheese, been around forever, staple of every kid's diet. But again, who doesn't love powdered cheese? The thing about an ingredients list is it needs to include everything in that box. So if you're looking at a lot of the S-bombs that competitors or companies are creating, they're just providing an S-bomb of the Mac, not the cheese. What if you're allergic to cheese or wheat or gluten or whatever it is in there? You need to know all the ingredients. That extrapolates and maps directly to a software bill of materials for an application or a piece of software. So SCA, other vendors that are producing a component, just the open source code, just the homegrown code, just the APIs as a bill of materials, that's only a piece. That's just the Mac, but not the cheese. So we'll get rid of our little graphic here and our favorite Mac and cheese lunch as a kid to think about what is a proper S-bomb. A proper S-bomb has to be comprehensive for the entire piece of software, the entire application. And there's really three major formats or approved formats that are people are looking to provide an S-bomb in a consistent format or a consistent way. We have Cyclone DX from OWASP. We have SPDX and SPDX Lite from the Linux Foundation. And then we have SWID from, where are they from? NIST, sorry, a little bit of a brain cramp there. These are appropriate formats of an S-bomb. They basically are consistent, they're repeatable, and they basically don't leave anything to the imagination. As I said, S-bomb is like Oprah, where you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. Every vendor is saying, you get an S-bomb, and you get an S-bomb, and you get an S-bomb. But the S-bomb, a lot of times, people are just creating their own format and just providing you with a list of a few pieces of the application where there's a whole lot more, like the Mac and the cheese. We need all the components. Homegrown code, third-party code, open source code, all that basically references to technology in the package itself. So when you're thinking about WTF is an SBOM, a software bill of materials, it has to be complete. It has to have all the components of that piece of software or that application to be effective. And it has to be in a format that is acceptable and recognized by the industry. So if you're thinking about SBOMs, always ask what format is that SBOM in? If it's just a made up magical SBOM format that nobody's ever heard of before, Probably not comprehensive, probably not effective, but if it's in Cyclone DX, SPDX, or SWID, you have an S-bomb that is recognized in a proper format. I'm Matt Rose, hope you enjoyed the episode. S-bomb is the world. Take care, everyone.